Hi, I'm here at the Montford Press Studio, and this is the fabulous Iron Hand Press. Isn't it beautiful? But it can take up to eight hours to set the type and to proof it and tweak it and perfect it and then to print it out, and especially if you're doing a two-color edition like this one. Carl was nice enough to set one of my poems. And eight hours is a long time, and then what if you wanted to personalize each one, say for a very special invitation, and you'd have to set type for that different name each time. Now, with your computer and Microsoft Publisher, you can use Mail Merge to create personalized flyers or email messages or even mailing labels. I'm Joni Stanglin, and I'll show you how. Now, even before we start the merge, we need to have a data source that lists all the names and addresses. And it can be a database or an Excel workbook like I have here, one I've created earlier. Or it can be your Outlook contacts, or you can even make one in Publisher. So I'm going to use this file that I've already made. And you can see that I have a column for first name and last name, and some address information, and a column for email addresses. And yes, you'll probably notice these are fake email addresses, just for the purpose of this demo. And I can add names at any time when I meet new people and want to add them to my mailing list. I'll close this. And now I want to open that flyer that I created earlier in Publisher. And I'll come point to Tools and Mailings and Catalogs. And I'll click Email Merge because I want to do the email merge first. And I, I'll keep this Use an Existing List setting since I already have my list. And then I'll come down here and I'll click Next, Create, or Connect to a Recipient List. That's a mouthful. I'll click my list. And I'll come down here and click Open. And this is a funny little step. I'll just click Sheet 1 and click OK. Now you can see all the names of the people in my list. And if someone lives kind of far away and I know they can't come, I can clear them from the merge by clearing that checkbox. Now they won't be included. And I can also uh, customize the merge by using filtering. I'll click State, and I'll click Washington so that everyone is at least in the same state. And I can come and click Email Address and click Non-Blanks because I'm doing an email merge, so I want to make sure there's an email address. And that's looking pretty good. So I'll click OK. Next, I can customize my flyer by clicking Greeting Line. And I think I'll choose the most informal option here. And if for some reason I don't have a name, I'll just click None. Now you can see here's what it will look like. I'll click Match Fields because I just want to be sure that the column name that Publisher is looking for matches the column name that I have in my workbook. Now let's see, just be sure, click First Name. I think we're all good. I'll click OK. Click OK again. And now I'm moving my greeting line up to the top of the page where I can see it. But it's still pretty small, so I'm going to bump up the view here so we can get a better look at it. And there it is. Now I can also make it bigger. I can change the font. I can customize it. I'll just select it. And it's important to make sure that you select the chevrons that are on either end of the field. Now I can come up here and I'll click Font. And I think I'll choose Freestyle Script. And I'll bump up the size to 14. There we go. Now I'm ready and I can click Next Create Merged Publication. Now I could send the mail right away or I have the option of previewing it. I click Email Preview and that will give me a chance to look at each message in the browser. I can click Next to click through and see each one. You can see here that the name is changing. It's showing me the different messages in my merge. I can close out of that and I can come back and send the email. Now I can use the same file to create my mail merge that I'm going to send in regular mail. But I'm going to make some adjustments first. I'm going to add a page so that I can have the address on one side of the flyer and the flyer part on the other and then I can fold it and just send it. Click Insert and Page. And after Current Page, that looks good, so I'll click OK. Next, I'll click Tools. And I'll point to Mailings and Catalogs, but this time I'll click Mail Merge. 
And yes, I do still want to use the same data source, so I'll click Yes. And now I'll edit recipient list, and I'm going to do the opposite this time. I'll come over here and I'll click Email Address, and this time I'll click Blanks. That way I won't be sending both versions to somebody. And I'll click OK. Now I'm going to come and add a text box and I'll put in my return address. And then for my recipients, I'll click Address Block. I'll click OK, move it around. Now I'll resize it so that the address fits a little bit better. I'm going to select it. I want it to, the lines to be closer together, so I'll come here and click 0. Next, I'll create my Merge Publication. I complete the merge, and then I can print out the file using the double-sided printing option on my printer, or printing out copies of one page and then turning the pages over and printing the second page. You can do a lot of things with Mail Merge. To find out more, visit the Office Online website, and keep writing.